Hello guys and girls and welcome back to a new video today. This is my reaction video to Trammy Rivers vs Cheltenham Town with the score being Trammy Rivers nil, Cheltenham 3. So obviously I'm going to start from the starting lineups. It was a 3-4-3. Um, I really was not really sure about that um, starting lineup. Obviously, we had obviously Lewis. I really did not think Lewis played okay, but I really, really, really think it should have been Banks starting with Feeney. Uh, I just thought it would have been better. It would we would have had probably more chances in the first half. If we had that team, but yeah, um, obviously going from first goal. Now, uh, obviously. Uh, defence was just a terrible a problem, obviously coming from a corner, but obviously it was an, ab an abysmal um, corner to try and defend. Obviously a defender should have been on, a defender or a player should have been on one of their players that scored the goal. Obviously it was terrible the way the way we, we, we set out to play and obviously we really need to stop hoofing the ball up. Fucking play the ball on the ground and we might win the game. It just pisses me off that we can't win a game. And we're just being so lazy on the ball. I mean, it's, it's pointless. It's pointless. Because we're not trying. We're not trying. We didn't try in the first half. We were terrible. We were terrible. But obviously I'm doing this from my opinion. Because I watched the game. I just did not think we were that good. First half, obviously. Their second goal. Um, the, Scotty Davis coming out. Why are you coming out so far out? Why? Why? Scotty, stay in goal. You're a goalkeeper. Do not come out if you don't need to. And Scotty, you didn't need to come out so far out. So... I blame Scotty for that second goal. Third goal, you couldn't, you can't do anything about it if it's a known goal. Unlucky on um, Paul Lewis, but yeah, he played. He was okay. He was okay, but from what my thoughts were, I just thought he shouldn't have started. Probably, possibly coming on from the bench. Um, obviously, we made the substitute for Ellis for for. Um, Leon Feeney, personally, I thought he created something when he came on. Obviously, tried to make something happen. Obviously, with Vaughan. And yes, we need a striker. We really need a striker. But from what I know, uh, Woolery didn't play today. He wasn't even on the bench. Because I think he's still not match fit yet. But I don't know. Is he going to be a striker? Or... Do we need a striker? Obviously, I think we do need a striker. But it's we're playing Cheltenham at home. We should be winning games like this. We should be winning games. Obviously, obviously, um, Stephen Payne didn't come on to late in the second half. But we really, really, really need to concentrate. Obviously, the manager has a massive task to do it. Obviously, next week, we play Cambridge. And Cambridge won five 0 away from home against um, Morecambe, and, Mor and obviously Cambridge are a decent side now. They they are they look a decent side. I think they're second in the league now, and obviously we really need to try and win a game next week, and then the week after that because the manager really is going to be in the shit if we don't do anything. We really, really, really need to sort something out. We need to get at least a good striker. A striker that will score goals. Maybe 10, 15 goals a season. Or maybe 15, 20. We need a goal scorer like James Norwood. But obviously, if we get Norwood, obviously we we'll probably won't get Norwood. But we need someone like that that will score goals for us. Because obviously, I feel sorry for Vaughan. Because... I, Payne is a load of awfulness. He's so bad on the ball. 
he can't make anything work. So I really, really think we need a striker in and try and get rid of pain because he's so awful. And then second half, we created chances and I thought we were the better team second half throughout most of the game. But yeah, we need to capitalise on finishing goals and stop hoofing the ball up. Stop hoofing it like go doing that all the time. If we pass more, it'll work better. So I think if we can get a striker in and then maybe maybe two strikers, because I think Ferry is still out injured, with back and Taylor injured. We need the strikers so much. Because um uh, who is it? Cambridge next week away from home. It's gonna be a really tough game. And as it stands, I'm not looking forward to it because they've just scored five against Morecambe away from home. So anything can happen in football, but we really need to step up and stop hoofing the ball up and obviously have the right formation. Don't change like a 4-4-1-1, then do a 3-5-3. Stick to one formation before I start a game and change it. Obviously, first and second half, I thought we were the better team. But obviously watching that game, I, I was I was, I was basically pissed off that we conceded three uh, three goals in the first half. I was not happy one bit. I love the club more than anything in the world, but we have to go through thick and thin. But and we need to finish our chances. If we want to finish our chances, there's a possibility we can get top half next this season. But obviously, I don't know where we are in the league at the moment. But yeah, we really need to finish our chances. Obviously, Vaughan had some decent chances. Obviously, he can't do it all on his own because he, there was only one striker up front at the time. And obviously, Stephen Payne came on. He, he didn't He didn't do much, but he'd done it okay. Little, obviously, little passes. Personally, I think Feeney was classed today. Since he came on, he, he showed everything. He showed who he is. And obviously, we had chances. And I thought, um, who was it? Vaughan done all right. But, yeah, if if we had the striker, I think we would have had goal. At maybe 3-2. Maybe 3-1, three, 3-3. One, three, three. But you never know if we had another striker on the pitch. But, yeah, I think uh, Khan played okay first half. Didn't really do much second half, but we did create chances. I thought Morris had a good game again. Because he, I think he, he, could be a dark, he could be a dark side player for the upcoming season, for this season. But, yeah, I'm disappointed the way we got beat, 3-0. And, obviously... I think Cheltenham only had like two or three chances in the second half. But yeah, we go again on Saturday next week on the 20, 26th against Cambridge United away from home on iFollow. So at three o'clock. So that'll be a good game. Just hopefully we can win the game. So th this is my last thing I have to say. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you know. So for next time, I will see you guys in a bit. Sue so well, mate, and up the whites.